Hey everybody, it's Faith from Paris and Tara. Hope everybody's well. It is time for the Cusp Baby Special. This one's going to be in all signs. Just because I feel like doing an all signs for it. I do have to stop in about an hour to go get my son from school though. So hopefully I can get it done in time. I'm going to try to make this short and sweet to the point as possible. Just because, you know, I'm on a time crunch once again, and y'all's time is precious, and, you know, I do appreciate y'all coming by, new and old. Notifications keep popping up. If you're new here, I think we might vibe. It'd be super cool of you if you could hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload. You can stop back by that way. And, you know, if you're returning... Thanks for coming back. I appreciate you as well. It's always good to see a friendly, familiar face. Okay. We're going to hop right into it. So, if it resonates with you, cool. If not, leave the cards on the table and walk away. That's fine. All birth dates will be in the description box below. So, if you're on the cusp of, like, Aries, Taurus, that little six-day period, and so on and so forth through all the signs going all the way from Aries Taurus to Pisces Aries all 12 because y'all got a different energy let me tell you I have a lot of friends who were born on zodiac cusps and they are so hard to gauge it's crazy <laughs> anyway 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 Time and energy are both fluid all things can and maybe vice versa might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher Maybe. You're welcome here anyway, though. Anybody's always welcome at my table at any time. Don't forget to hit the like button. It all helps the channel. It all helps the video be circulated to those who might need the message. So, okay. Never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care if they're my cards or somebody else's. And once again, if it's not your story, it's not your reading, it's not your message, just walk away from it because it may not have been meant for you this time. Okay? Alrighty, so... Oh, I have to invoke the cards. What am I doing? Okay. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for my collective cusp babies. I appreciate you coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring my cusp babies to their highest possible spiritual good. I'm on their highest possible spiritual path. Aries into Taurus, you are up first. Oh, one pop out. King of Cups reversed. Somebody may be a little bit emotionally closed off at this time. See if it comes back out. Three wands reversed. You have officially stopped waiting for something. <laughs> You're walking away from the dock. All right. Okay. Oh my. Are they all? Nope. They're not all reversed. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Short, sweet, and to the point. I don't even think I need to clarify this. You have officially stopped waiting at the dock. You're walking away. Um, probably in the recent past. Not sure how far back. You came out of your head about something. You let yourself out of your little mental prison. Um, you're ignoring somebody's cup. Not even giving it a second look. And the future of this is no new start. Let's get an outcome. Four of Wands in the reverse. I'm not even clarifying this, guys. I'm not. There's no point. <laughs> There's no point. No new start. Um, if you were to try to pursue it, I think it would just be completely unstable. So,
Best advice, Ten of Wands, Seven of Wands. Release any burdens that may be associated with this. And just don't let it be a demon. Rise up above it and against it. Death reversed, Queen of Pentacles reversed. Don't. If you don't see any kind of change in this situation, don't let it bring you down. Don't let it bring you down. Don't let the lack of evolution bring you down and take away your self-worth. I mean, something tells me someone was using their intuition and just, you know, saw the bad signals of the red flags and... All right. I mean, you did what was best for you, ultimately. Bottom of the deck. Four of Pentacles reversed. Let go. Just let it go. Just let it go. Let it go. That's amazing. Wow. Okay. That was... Super short, sweet, and to the point. I like that. All right. Taurus Gemini, you're up next. See, I'm not, if I ain't got to clarify it, I'm not going to. Wait, <laughs> if I'm not, if I don't have to, I won't. Not today. There's no sense in the card buffet on the table. Three more quick shuffles. One. Two. And three. <clears throat> Seven of Swords. Oh, shoot. Okay. Might have to clarify this one. Seven of Swords. This is... Oh, I, I'm, I'm calling it like a seed. This is jerk face. That's the jerk face. Something's coming back to you. Something that was dishonest and deceitful in the past came back for its swords. It's in the process of coming back, possibly. You were in this state of codependent neediness. You're in the process of healing. They probably know it. That's why they're coming back. Oh, perfect time to come back. They're over me. Uh, the future... If you allow this return, I don't think this is going to put you in a happy place. It's the outcome. Justice. Oh, okay. Hmm. Balance. Balance. The balancing of karma, possibly. Hmm. All right. Universe Source Spirit Guides. We're going to clarify a little different. What's going to happen if my Taurus Gemini cusp allows this return? What's going to happen? Four of Swords into the Five of Swords. Yup. Four of Swords. You're going to breast him from heartbreak. You're going to end up not in a happy place.
One on justice. One on justice. Four of cups into the five of cups. Contemplation. You need to decide what you're going to do. What's going to balance this out? You're in a process of healing right now. That's why they're coming back. They know you're getting over it. All right. If you want balance, this next part's for you. What can my Taurus Gemini cost to do to achieve the outcome of balance? It says you're going to ignore the cup. Six of swords reversed. <laughs> allow it to return okay three of coins reversed <laughs> nine of coins reversed okay so this is what I'm getting out of this for you guys you, if, if you need to see it for yourself and you need to let it play out go for it but if you want to put yourself through this, but ultimately ignore the cup to achieve balance because six swords reversed, three of coins reversed, nine of coins reversed, they're full of shit. They are full of shit. If you allow this, it's not going to be stable. It's not going to come together because they'd have nothing to offer you. They're coming back for what you had to offer them. Wands have reversed at the bottom of the deck. Do not move forward with this. Eight of Pentacles. Keep working on yourself. Keep working on your healing. That's what you need to do. That's what you need to do. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life, but that's what you need to do. Gemini Cancer, you're up. Four of Wands, all right. Celebration, stability, 11-11. Okay, soulmate connection, all right. Oh, wow, okay. In the past, there was victory. Um, I'm feeling like someone got noticed. present moment is that Nava cups reversed um you could be watching someone they could be watching you there's no communication though there's no communication and immediate future that that chariot ain't going nowhere that chariot ain't moving what's the outcome four cups reversed a cup is being ignored absolutely ignored I don't think I need to clarify this either. I'm gonna though. Just a little. Just a little. You know, not all soulmate connections end in bliss, right? Just that's just how that works. 
Not all soulmate connections end in bliss. Sometimes soulmates come in to teach you something, or you have to teach them something. That's called a karmic. That's how that works. And that's the whole purpose behind it. Seven of Wands into the Eight of Wands. You're not supposed to be exchanging cups right now. You're not. I think you both have some inner demons that you need to battle and you need to move forward. That's where this concludes. The chariot's not moving. Why is the chariot not moving? Nine of Swords reversed into the Ten of Swords. I'm clarifying with the in-between tarot, by the way, and I'm reading with the tarot with a new vision because this is this is the decks I use for my cusp babies because of the energies that come off the cards. The chariot's not moving because cycles haven't ended. You're still coming out of your heads about something. Cycles haven't ended for you independently for you to move forward together with anything. One in the name of cups. Ten of swords into the ace of swords. Somebody's fighting the sunshine. Someone may be fighting the painful ending at this time. There's just no communication. Somebody's leaving something hanging out there. I think it was literally just cut off at the knees. There could have been deception involved. I think a new cycle can't start between you because an old cycle didn't technically end. One on the six. Ace of coins reversed, two of coins reversed. Yeah. Something couldn't progress. It was the seed that never grew. You noticed each other. You saw each other. The potential was there, but the seed never grew. Hmm. All right. Well, two of cups into the three of cups into the bottom of the deck. Possibly this didn't come together. There may have been a third party involved with either party. I don't know, but let's get some advice for you real quick. Hierophant reversed, three of pentacles reversed. You cannot have something committed or stable on an unsteady foundation. Ace of wands, five of swords. Cut your losses, collect your swords. Do what's best for you. Go start something new elsewhere. Nine of swords reversed, six of cups reversed. Don't let any bad blood between you. Keep you up at night. This feels like it just wasn't meant to be. At least not right now. Are you soulmates? Most definitely. Did you learn something from each other out of the situation? Probably. The important thing is that you take the lesson with you into the new connection, but don't let it consume the new connection. Release and let go. Ace of Cups reversed. No new start. Cancer into Leo. You're up. more. 
Ace of Rods reversed. High Priestess reversed. World reversed. Knight of Pentacles. Oh, shoot. I'm feeling like you don't want to get something started. I feel like you don't have passion for it. In the past, your ego may have been wounded about something. High Priestess reversed. It could be wounded ego. It could be truths came out about a situation. You feel the unfinished business of the world reversed. You know something didn't come to an end, but you don't want to restart it either. There may be an apology coming in from someone, Knight of Pentacles, or you need to give an apology. Slow moving energy coming in could be an offer of stability. What's the outcome? Justice reversed, imbalance. There's imbalance. Okay. Imbalance, injustice, not fair. Low clarity, please, universe. Low clarity. <clears throat> Two more. All right. It's not fair. Magician High Priestess. <laughs> I think they're the ones who think it's not going to be fair. You, however, manifesting new things in your life and using your intuition, but this is not what you're manifesting. Why the Ace of Wands in the reverse? Two of Swords, Three of Swords. <sighs> You're making a decision on this based on the fact that your heart was broken. You have clarity. You have all the clarity you need. High Priestess. Five of Cups reversed into the Six of Cups. <laughs> yeah, there was sadness. Caused a little bad blood. Wounded ego. Hello. Why the world reversed? High Priestess into the Empress. Yeah, there might be some unfinished business. It may not have truly ended, as in there was no closure, but, you know, closure is entitlement. <laughs> not everybody is entitled to closure in a situation. It's not often necessary. Closure helps us feel better. That's all closure does. And usually it's it's... It's for you, not the other person, or it's for the other person, not you. Somebody in this situation feels like it wasn't closed out. Someone may be coming back to try to close it out. You, on the other hand, I feel like, you know what? This isn't going to go. It's not going to go anywhere. I don't want to restart this. Why the Knight of Pentacles reversed? Ace of Swords into the Two of Swords. Oh, wow. They might be remaining silent because they don't know how to approach you. They may just randomly see you on the street and try to say something and decide not to because it, I'm feeling the vibe off of these cards like don't even fucking talk to me. Wow. Okay. Shit. Shit. Okay, you want no part of it, you want no part of it. That's fine. That's fine. Do your thing, baby, do you. Do you, strength into the hermit. Hold back, go inside, find your own inner light. Walk the path you gotta walk, and, that, and if that path is without them, so be it, baby. What's your advice? Seven of Wands reversed, death reversed. If you feel like for even one second that this is not, <laughs> that this isn't for you, this isn't for you. Don't engage with it. Don't take it on. Don't 
Yes, it was a soulmate connection. Yes, it was meant to teach you something. But if there's negative energy between you, temperance reverse, don't. Don't. Sometimes these connections are just that. Connections. Two of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Hmm. I feel like if you decide to reconnect with this, if you decide to revisit it, it's going to be nothing more than secrets, lies, and bullshit again. So... King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck in the reverse. Watch your self-worth. Watch your self-worth. Secondary meaning on that. If they are not, they proved once that they weren't who they said they were. They probably still aren't. So just throwing that out there. Okay, Leo into Virgo. Leo into Virgo. Three more. Six of Swords. Moving on. Moving on. In the past, there was inner conflict. Current situation, something's not growing, something's not fruiting. Probably while you're moving on from it. In the upcoming future, kind of hard to gauge how far out it's going. It might be October into November. This, These are, you know, in all reality, they're timeless. All tarot is timeless. We try to gauge energies for a certain time period, and it's timeless. It's when you receive the message is when it's for you. Someone's going to try to rebuild a tower. The outcome is the three of cups, togetherness. Happiness, joy, and bliss. Okay. Hmm. Clarity, just a little. I'm curious about this tower. Seven of Swords into the Eight of Swords. Yeah, somebody coming back trying to rebuild a tower. Somebody's coming back trying to put you in a mental prison. Someone coming back with a with a busted off sword wanting to fight for what's theirs. P.S. What they think is theirs. You moved away from this. This caused interior conflict. The star and the moon. Healing in the process of confusion. You tried to walk away from this in the past. It was the it was the internal conflict about it. It's the healing, but the not knowing what you're getting into. 
Why the Empress reversed? More confusion. You wanted it, but you knew it wasn't going to grow. So you moved away from it. One of the three of cups. Hanged man in death. Happiness, joy, and bliss, my ass. That's third party. The moon into the sun in the reverse. Clarity. You do find your happiness, your joy, and your bliss. You do find it. But it's after a moment of clarity when you allow something to pass away. When you allow change in a situation, when you allow something to die, is when you get your clarity. And of course, my boss has to ping in for real. It's going to ping in on the phone next. Uh, okay, hold on. Hmm. Ten of cups reversed and the ace of cups reversed. I don't like that. You have to allow this cycle to end for a new cycle to begin. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. If they come back to try to rebuild the tower, You receive the clarity you need in a situation. I don't know if the situation passes away into, okay, it's changed, it's evolved. We can move forward with that moon reverse and that sun reverse. Ah, the moon reversed. I don't know. Clarity bringing despair. I don't know. Ace of Pentacles and the sun. You have something new coming in that isn't this. That's going to bring you happiness and joy. But... You have to allow the old cycle to die first. Ten of Pentacles reversed, term it reversed. Avoidance of this situation will not lead to abundance. That's better. Do not move forward with this and allow this person to keep you to keep you hung up. I feel like they are going to come in with truth and they are going to come in with clarity and it may be unexpected. Don't let it be heartbreaking. Don't let it put you in that reverse hermit. Don't let it lead you to self-isolation. Just know that things end for new things to begin and there's something wonderful coming for you. But it's probably going to sting a little bit. Six of wands at the bottom of the deck, you end up getting your victory. You end up getting your victory. You will have your victory dance. Leo into Virgo, you will have your victory dance. But it's going to sting. Mm. Just keep moving. Keep moving, baby. Keep moving. All you can do. All right. I'm going to keep moving Virgo into Libra. Virgo into Libra.
Three of Pentacles. Stability does indeed happen slowly. Coming together with something. But at the same time, it's not moving. I gotta get clarity. Outcome, Ten of Wands. Okay. Release of a burden. A little bit of clarity. Page of coins, knight of coins. Slow moving. It feels like it's not moving, but it's moving slowly. Six of wands reversed into the seven of wands reversed. This is something in the past you didn't even give a second thought. You didn't even look at as an option. I feel like suddenly it's coming into play. What's this nine of wands? Two of cups reversed into three of cups reversed. You're, you're, you're walling yourself off to it. You're just trying to regain stability. You might not be ready for this offer yet. You gotta release this first. What's up with that? Two of Wands reversed and the Three of Wands reversed. You're stuck at a crossroads. You need to release this burden. Something that you've been at the crossroads about, something that you've been waiting on, you need to walk away from the crossroads. You need to walk away from the dock. You need to release it. Whatever's holding you back from this, whatever's keeping you stuck, you need to release it. So you get past the three. Five of swords at the bottom of the deck and the six of swords. So you need to walk off the battlefield. If you don't lay whatever this is to rest, that offer can't come in. Four of Swords upright, Knight of Pentacles reversed. Temperance and the Knave of Pentacles reversed. Yeah. You need to have a positive outlook on this. But having a positive outlook... And allowing positivity to come in and being patient with it allows it to come in. Don't be apprehensive about this. I don't care if this is like a business deal or a love offer or, or what. It's some general as possible. It can't come together until you release and defeat whatever you need to release and defeat. As long as you're still in an internal battle or struggle about something, it can't come together. And what's going on up here in the past is maybe you just avoided it. You put it out of your head and your thoughts and just avoided the struggle altogether. 
and just ignored it. But the longer you ignore it, the more it festers. Offer coming in, you're having nothing to do with it. You're not moving forward with it. You're not, you're not even entertaining the idea for whatever reason. Because you're still out of balance. The foundation's there, but it's not quite there. Huh, okay. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You have to be open to receiving abundance. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse thinks they're not worthy of it. You, you, need, you need to entertain the idea that you are worthy of it. Don't wall yourself off to it. All right. Libra into Scorpio. Magician reversed. Unable to manifest, something stopped moving in the past. You are drained. And something is blocked from coming in. Hmm. Okay. Out come the hermit. Go inside. Find the light. Leave that alone. Real quick. Reverse magician reversed. You're not jumping. It can't manifest because you're not jumping. You've blocked it off. You're going to block it off. Why? Why are you drained? Page of Wands reversed into the Knight of Wands reversed. You just ain't got it in you. <laughs> you don't have it in you. Why is the chariot reversed? Five of coins and the six of coins. You gave somebody the boot to uh, get balance in your life. You're the one who stopped this chariot. You're the one who stopped it from manifesting. Why? Four of swords into the five of swords. You cut it loose. Possibly it broke your heart. Cut your losses. Okay, Wank, why don't you have it in you? Lovers into the chariot reversed. You just can't. This connection was not moving you forward. This connection was only holding you back. Okay, you're blocking it. You're not allowing it to manifest. Ten of coins into the ace of coins. Devil into the tower reversed. Okay. It wasn't worth it. There was something about this. Yeah, it was abundant. 
it had potential, but it was toxic at the same time. It was a disaster waiting to happen. You're avoiding a disaster. In the future, you are avoiding a disaster, at least in your eyes. Huh. I'm not going to delve too far down this rabbit hole today, but can I get one on this hermit? Queen of Coins reversed and the King of Coins reversed. You need to get your self-worth back. That's what you need to find with that inner light. Whatever this is, suck the self-worth right out of you. Either it sucked the self-worth out of you, or you knew that they... Wow, this is going to sound super cocky. You knew that you could do better. King of Coins into the Page of Coins. You knew you could do better. Wow. That sounds super cocky, but truth be told. King of Wands into the Page of Wands reversed. You're not moving forward with this. You are not moving forward with this. You are not moving forward because you do not want to move backward. Okay, what's your advice? Eight of Pentacles, Four of Cups reversed. Keep working on you. Don't concentrate on love right now. Don't take or make any offers. Two of Swords reversed. Ten of Pentacles in the upright. Unless you're clear and you know ultimately that it's going to take you down the path that you want to go on, don't do it. Make your decisions wisely and with clarity for your highest good. Seven of Pentacles upright, two of Wands reversed. You can be patient with something all day long. You can throw energy into something all day long. But if it gets to a point where throwing energy into something and patience has you stuck, do not allow yourself to stay stuck. I think you're already doing what the advice is telling you to do. High Priestess in the reverse. You might want to check that ego a little bit. Just throwing that out there. Check your ego. <laughs> Don't make decisions based on ego. Make it for your highest good. And those are two very different things. Wow. Scorpio into Sagittarius. Oh, three cups wanted to come out. Could be harmony and bliss and joy and happiness. Could be togetherness and celebration. Could be a third party situation. I don't know. That's a little bit of an imbalance in cups, if you ask me. One more good shuffle. <laughs> okay, that was the last shuffle anyway. I just let it come out. King of Pentacles. Oh, the Hierophant is an outcome. Little clarity. Just a little. Just a little. The only one not making sense is the King of Pentacles. You, in the recent past, distant past, not sure, time is fluid, it's a man-made construct anyway, we'll just say the past. You're in a cage of your own self-imposed thoughts. That's a tough cage to be in. The funny thing about that cage is that you can walk out of it any fucking time you want to. They're not prison bars. 
It's a sword in dirt. Move the sword. Get it out of your way. Super easy. And you're blindfolded. And you're tied up. But your feet aren't bound. You can still walk. Kick it. That's what we say at work all the time. Kick it. Some stops working. Kick it. Threw in the towel. In the present. I mean, could be today. Could be the last couple of days. Couple of weeks. It's present. Time is fluid. And threw the towel on something. Probably shuffled enough. Immediate future, not so sure how far out. You got a three of pentacles. That's the rebuilding of the foundation. You have the Hierophant as an outcome. He marries people and he teaches life lessons. We'll get a clarifier on it in a second. What's this King of Pentacles all about? The Hermit and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Huh. Shit. Wow. Not only not only have you thrown in the towel, but you're in self-isolation self and denying the end of a cycle. Why? Ace of swords into the two of swords. You made a painful choice to start start something new in your life. You're abundant, you're prosperous, you're good on your own, you're good. It's going to seem like a downward turn of events, but it's not. I don't think it is. It's just something that didn't work out. You could be possibly leaving a cycle unfinished, but I don't know. I think you just ended it. Yeah, Queen of Wands reversed, King of Wands reversed. You threw in the towel, it's over. You've lost all passion for this. You are not moving forward with it. I think you didn't get your way and you're a little bit pissed off. That's kind of, you know, the Queen of Wands reversed. She's a jaded bitch, okay? We love her, but she's jaded. She's not thrilled. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Fine. But whatever this was had you in a cage of your own thoughts. You broke out of the cage. And that's a good thing. That's forward movement. And that's okay. You didn't make it to the nine. You got out of the cage before you made it to the nine. Page of swords reversed, nine of swords reversed. You're starting your own foundation. I don't think you're communicating with this person. I don't think you plan to. I think you've completely cut this person off. Seven of swords reversed. Eight of swords reversed. Yeah. You received the clarity you needed. And that was it. You received the clarity you needed to break out of your cage. You're done. Life lesson learned. Not even going to clarify it. Okay, I'll throw one on it. Page. Oh, it's coming in, but it's coming in slow. The page into the Knight of Coins. Something better is coming for you. You see these swords? They come in, they come out just as quick. Kind of like the kind of like the wands. Kind of like the page and the wands. Come in quick, go out quick. This is slow. This is slow. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. Right on. Eight of cups reversed, nine of cups reversed at the bottom of the deck. If it tries to return again, I wouldn't let it. Don't return to this. Returning to this or allowing it to return will not lead to happiness. You need to do what is best for you and what is going to make you happy. And I don't think it's this. I think it's this. Life lesson learned and abundance allowed to come in. Advice.
Do not try to remanifest this. And don't try to manifest anything new as long as you are restless about this. Until you've cleared the energy of this out of your system and out of your energy, you're going to repeat the cycle. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Concentrate on you for a minute. Nine of Pentacles, two of Cups reversed. Your abundance, your independence, your happiness. Don't worry about love right now. Don't worry about it. Is something better coming in for you? Allow that process to occur. Work on you. The Knight of Coins and the Knight of Wands. Which one do you want? Which one do you want? Do you want the slow one that's going to bring you what you deserve? Or do you want the one to rush in that's going to rush right back out again? Which one do you want? That's for you to decide, not me. Personally, I'll take the slow pony. Four of Pentacles. Hang on to what you need to hang on to, but let go of what you need to let go of. Okay? Okay? Fair enough. All right. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, well, unfortunately, I have to pause to go get my kid, so we will do Sag into Capricorn and finish up when I get back. Pull this over here so I know where we're at. Okay. So, one two, three, four left. All right, I'm going to pause and I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. We are back with Sagittarius into Capricorn. All right. Went and picked up the kid. He has his lunch. He is chilling comfortably in his room. Watching TV. Well, actually, he's in my room watching TV because the TV in his room is not the best. But that's another thing on the list for tomorrow. Three more shuffles. Sag and Cat. Sagittarius into Capricorn. My little cuss babies. Five of Wands reversed. Avoiding conflict with somebody. Coming out of conflict with somebody. All right. Okay. Hmm. Well, by the looks of things, first blush, coming out of conflict, avoiding conflict. I'm going to have to get clarifiers. Something's at a dead stop. Something's not moving. You lost passion for something. Could be dealing with another fire sign. I don't have any earth on the board. Yeah, happiness coming in, but right now you're in a state of avoiding a painful ending. I feel like eggshells here. I feel like this is eggshells. High Priestess is the outcome. Being led and guided by your intuition. Two more shuffles.
Nine of Wands reversed. It stopped moving you through in the towel. It was becoming burdensome. <sighs> hmm. Oh, wow. Trying to remain patient. If I just invest a little more time, if I give it a little more time, I might not have to end it. Hmm. Ten of coins into the ace of coins. You've invested about all you can invest into this. You're about spent. You have happiness on the other side of this. But something has to be released. What's up with this five of wands? Three of cups reversed, four of cups reversed. Avoiding contact. Ignoring. Avoiding conflict. Uh, to avoid conflict, you're, you're not even... Wow. Okay, what's the Ten of Cups? Four of Swords into the Five of Swords, laying it to rest, cutting your losses. Victory to cost. You get your happiness, but you gotta cut something loose. Ten of Wands into the Ace of Wands. You have to release this burden to get your happiness. You have to cut your losses. What's the High Priestess? Nine of Swords into the Ten of Swords. The release. The release. You know what you need to do. You're just not doing it. <clears throat> Six of Swords into the Seven reversed. This is like conversations with source stuff. It may, you may have to return to it at a later date to get clarity, but right now I think for your own sanity and your own peace of mind, you need to cut this loose. Someone's just going to keep you in the dark and keep bringing you back into the dark if you if you keep investing time into this. You're fighting the ending. P.S. Sag into cap. This is an Aries Leo thing. This isn't a, this isn't a Sag thing. Let's not make this a Sag thing, okay? <laughs> Capricorn. <laughs> this is not. This isn't your thing. Let's not make this your thing, okay? Just playing. All right bottom of the deck. Eight of swords reversed into the nine of swords reversed. You need to, don't, you need to get this out of your head. You need to come out of your head about this. You don't put yourself into a mental prison over this. Don't keep yourself in a mental prison over this. What's your advice? <laughs> no new start. No new start.
Don't invest in things. It, don't invest in things that are not going to grow. Death and the death in the page of cups. Death in the knave of cups. You have to allow this process to complete if you want something new to come in. The Ten of Cups has got to start somewhere. But you have to allow this to complete judgment. You have to make a final judgment call. If it's meant to resurrect, it will. If it's not, it won't. But you have to make a final judgment call on it. You can't let it keep you in this state. You're just... Gosh. 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 Okay. Cap into Aquarius. Capricorn into Aquarius. I feel like I need to light some sage. This is getting heavy. Holy cow. Three more. The Magician. Don't say anything yet. Damn. An acknowledged connection, avoidance, or end a conflict, and balance and greed. What did y'all get yourselves into? Two more. One on the magician. Nine of cups reversed into the ten of cups. Well, you manifested something, all right. You know the universe hears everything, right? I mean, it, it literally hears anything. Everything. If you manifest crap, that's what you're going to get, is crap. Nine of cups reversed, ten of cups reversed. You're not happy. King of Swords reversed to the Page of Swords reversed. <sighs> Avoiding conflict with someone because you have a bad attitude toward them, probably because the lovers are reversed, which means, yeah, to the Devil reversed, the Tower reversed. Disconnected from something, you disconnected from disaster. You manifested crap, and you got crap. And now you're avoiding the conflict that goes along with it. One more. Empress into the Emperor. Just trying to maintain control. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. This could be a marriage. This could be a marriage. More on that. King of coins to the page of coins. Something has gone stagnant. Further imbalance. Two upside down sixes. Hanged man reversed. Death reversed. Imbalance. Wow, guys. The sun into judgment. Well, that's a bright spot. Not your happiness back. You got to make a judgment call. Eight of Wands into the Nine of Wands. You have to communicate. There's hope. There's hope. There's communication coming. There's a one last go around coming, but you have to get out of this lack of victory mindset. You have to get out of the mindset that this isn't going to work out because it can. But you manifested garbage, so you have to stop manifesting garbage. It turned into a disaster because that's what you manifested. So it's what you do right in here. What you do in the moment, in the now. The happiness is in the resurrection. But things need to change. Things need to come back into balance. All right. How do things come back into balance? One shuffle. Oh, that might be the answer. Eight of coins, nine of coins. Time. Invest in the connection. Start putting time and effort in. The hermit and the wheel go inside. You gotta walk the path. Sometimes it's not such a bright path, but you gotta walk the path. Six of Wands reversed, five of Wands reversed. You can only avoid the conflict for so long. Eventually, the conflict has to happen. Chariot reversed in strength. If you want the chariot to go forward, you have to stop avoiding the conversation. Sometimes you just have to let things play out the way they need to play out and stop avoiding it. But you have to manifest positive things. You can't manifest, put yourself in an automatic, this isn't going to work, or it's not going to work. Eight of cups reversed, seven of cups reversed, seven of cups reversed. You're only putting yourself in confusion. You can't be so confusing with the universe. The universe delivers what you ask for. Let's get your advice. Strengthen the Eight of Pentacles. You got to stay strong through this. You got to stay strong through the good times and the bad times, the lean times and the mean times. You got to stay strong. You want to pull out of this. Knight of Cups and the Empress. You want this to grow? You guys got to talk. Ten of Swords in the upright. Hair fit in the upright. You got to end the painful cycle to get back to that place of commitment. You got to have the conversation. It's going to be painful. It's going to suck. But if you're truly committed to each other and you truly want this to work, you got to get away from that toxicity and that bullshit and stop manifesting garbage. Eight of Cups, you, you got to walk on. You got to walk on. Move past it. There's hope here. There's hope here. But you got to find it within yourselves. That was wild. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeet. Yeet. 
eat. Okay. Aqua into Pisces. Aqua into Pisces. Ah, wrong deck. I need to shuffle it anyway. <laughs> ah! Crap on a cracker. All right, three more. Did I really just do that? Fine. It's an easy fix. I'm getting frazzled because I'm running low on time. Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Queen of Cups, Knave of Wands. You're being extremely patient. You're still investing time. You're still investing energy. However, in this present moment, you're not emotionally invested that could be a problem okay um it wants things moved very quickly things moved very quickly outcome ace of cups okay three Make me have to shuffle again. Judgment, Eight of Cups. No, Judgment, Seven of the Cups reversed. Yes, there is confusion about what's going to happen. How about this Nave of Wands? Queen of Swords into the King of Swords. Yes. Truths will be coming out very, very quickly. It's going to be a fast message. Huh. Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. That's why you're not so emotionally invested. Six of Swords. Something came back. Either something came back on their end or something came back on your end. But something came back. That's what happens when we move into things quickly. You weren't emotionally invested to begin with. I think it just kind of happened. So why are you still putting energy into it? You're avoiding sadness. You don't want to hurt somebody's feelings. Oh, wow. That's extremely uncomfortable. Oh, wow. Okay. One more over here. The sun and judgment. <laughs> One on the Ace of Cups. The Hermit and the Wheel of Fortune. Sometimes you have to be honest. Sometimes dragging something out only makes it hurt worse. I don't know if it is you or them. But something needs to come to a close. And someone needs to go in inside and figure out how they're going to do that. 
the fool and the magician. It's it's about new. It's about new. Oof. Page of Cups, Knight of Cups. It's it's one way or another. Sometimes, you know, acting out of love is ending something that needs to end. If you're not emotionally invested or they're not emotionally invested, why are you hanging out? To avoid hurting someone's feelings. Okay. Um. Ouch. Just saying. Ouch. The sun and the ten of swords, the sun and the eight of swords reversed. Um, overthinking this is only going to make it hurt more. You need to come out of your head about this. You might want to move on sooner than later before this gets any worse. King of Pentacles reversed. If you wait too long, it may be misconstrued that you're not the person you came across to be. I don't know who this is. This is so specific right now. I don't know who this is for, but somebody needs this apparently. If things aren't flowing, you have to owe it up to the fact that things aren't flowing or it's just going to cause negative energy. Everybody in this situation will bounce back nine of cups. There's going to be a bounce back and everyone in this situation is going to ultimately be happier at the end of the day if you do what needs to be done. Bottom of the deck, five of cups. Sometimes you have to allow those emotions to happen. I know it sucks, but you got to do what you got to do. Oof. Oh, wow. That that hurt my heart. Oh, my God. That hurt my heart, y'all. Dang. It sucks when you got to hurt somebody's feelings, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Uh, Pisces into Aries. All right. Right. Rock on. I might knock this out in less than an hour and a half. Go with me, right? Three more. The magician again. <laughs> oh boy. Don't say anything yet. Conflict. Silence. Moving on. Outcome. Avoidance of a painful ending. Okay. This is where we're at. Oh, my Pisces, Aries, cusp babies. Please be careful with your thoughts and words at this time. Just please be careful. The universe is listening. Avoid negative thoughts, negative emotions, negative words, negative feelings. Positive, positive, positive. Okay. Why the Knight of Cups? Reverse. The Devil in the Tower. 
Oh, that's why y'all ain't talking. Okay. Oh, there may be some toxic activities going on. It may be causing a rift. It may cause a sudden breakdown or change. I don't think it's a welcomed one. Ace of Cups. You're at a point where you don't even know if you can start over. Like, this is like, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Five of Wands in the past. Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands. There was conflict in that speaking in the past and someone was ready to throw in a towel. Three of Cups reversed, Four of Cups reversed, Three of Cups reversed. There... Dang. That was like a huge disconnect to the point where somebody was being ignored. This has been going on for a minute. What's up with this magician? Someone may have moved on in the past and a return was manifested. Did you call somebody back? You had the tools to fix it. You had the tools to fix it. You manifested a new start. There was a return. May not have been under the best of intentions, though. Two of coins, three of coins, both reversed. That's... Somebody was juggling. Somebody was juggling. Oh, my God. Juggling and into an unsteady foundation. Oh, my God. I like these cards. There's more information in these cards. I like these cards. It's like two cards in one. We get more info out of it. Okay. Okay. Wow. All right. Okay. So, immediate future, six of swords. Completion, ten of coins, ace of coins. You're about spent. You're about spent. You don't want to. You don't want to. Five of swords reversed into the six of swords reversed. You may like get ready to move on. You may be at the end of your rope ready to start something new and someone's going to be like, wait, 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 don't go. Crawling back with a tail between their legs, trying to avoid this ending. Keeping you hung up and stuck. This has gone round and round for a minute. I, I feel like this has gone round and round. Round and round. Okay, I feel like you're going to let him hang out and you get this Ten of Swords reversed. Again, Aries, I just said this to Sag. Just said this to Sag Cap. So if you're on the Aries side of this cusp, what did I tell you? This is not okay. This is not okay. I'm just playing. Ten of swords. Oh my God. Ten of swords reversed. Ten of swords reversed. Oh, guys. Oh, you're trying. You're fighting so hard. But you're denying the sunshine in your life. You're trying so hard. Oh, that's not good. Queen of Swords reversed. The longer you put this off, the less peaceful it is going to be. The longer you put this off, the less peaceful it is going to be. Page of Swords into the Knight of Swords. Truth's going to be spoken, and it is not going to end well. Sometimes the Page of Swords does you things you don't want to hear. Oh, man. 
king of coins and the page of coins reversed. Everything's off the table. Oh my gosh. Everything goes stagnant. Bottom of the deck, five of cups into the six of cups, having to process emotions that you are avoiding in order to regain balance. What's your advice? Ace of coins reversed, eight of swords reversed. You have to come out of your head about the seed that didn't grow. If there's nothing left, there's nothing left. You can't keep trying to overthink this. Two of swords reversed, nine of swords. Make the clearest decision that you know how to make and don't be anxious about it. Anxiety only drags things out. Judgment, the Empress. You have to make the judgment call that is best for everyone, that is best for the family. If there's a family involved here, which I kind of feel like there might be. I see a lot of people in some of these cards. I see children in some of these cards. I... You have to make the judgment call that is best for everyone involved. Whether you resurrect it one more time and try one more time or you just end it and let whatever's going to happen happen. Wow, guys. Uh, a little over an hour and a half. That's not bad. Um, well, cuss babies, this has been it. Thanks for coming by and hanging out. I appreciate your time. I hope it helped. Um, there you go. I will see y'all again next month.